time only exists because of heat. If that's the case, can we stop time by running a big freezer? I don't think so. Time indeed only exists because of heat. This touches on the relationship between time and entropy, which is one of the most profound connections in modern physics. This story begins like every story does, with the Big Bang. Fun fact, the term Big Bang is more like a joke. The one who came up with the theory Georges Lemaitre called it the cosmic egg, but a guy named Fred Hoyle, a strong opposer of the idea, dismissively called it Big Bang to make fun of it, and ironically that got stuck and very few people remember the original name. The Big Bang refers to an extremely hot and dense state, which was followed by a rapid expansion that resulted in space-time but also entropy. Entropy was remarkably low at the beginning and has been increasing ever since. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that entropy tends to increase in isolated systems, which gives time its apparent direction, something physicists call the arrow of time. Everyone could observe hot coffee cooling down, or ice cubes melting in warm water. These processes happen in one direction only, defining what we perceive as the forward direction of time. Without heat transfer and entropy increasing, we would lose the distinction between past and future. If you watch a video of a bouncing ball, you couldn't tell if the video was playing forward or backward. Both scenarios obey the same physics, but with heat, you can easily tell if a video of an ice cube melting is playing forward or backward, because entropy increases in isolated systems. This gives us the thermodynamic arrow of time, our sense that time flows in one direction. It is important to note that time is not entropy itself, but without entropy we can't really measure time. Ok, so time is strongly related to heat, but can we stop it? Can we freeze time? If a colossal freezer made everything cold, would that stop entropy and time? A freezer can't reach absolute zero, and while working, it itself generates heat. The cooling process requires work and creates entropy elsewhere in the system. Even if you could create a perfect isolated system at absolute zero which would violate the third law of thermodynamics, particles wouldn't be completely motionless. But remember how the Big Bang was expanding the universe, and how entropy is always increasing. Well, physicists predict that after countless trillions of years, this entropy will reach a maximum, resulting in a heat death. By then, time may continue ticking. Or not. No one knows. But perhaps it would have no meaning after the heat death either.